We're backstage at Simon Spur. The look today, it's really clean. It's really tailored. It's a really clean, natural version of themselves. Really beautiful hair. And I've been telling my team, like, I kind of wanted to be like a perfect nothing. You know, so we've been going with a little bit of Bumble and Bumble styling cream and a little bit of grooming cream, drawing into that hair for a really clean, polished look. I love his clothes. It's the kind of clothes like I would wear. It's like it's simple, it's clean, it's understated. So we try to achieve that same thing with the hair. I'm building upon what I've started over the last couple of seasons, but really the influence this season was Robert Frank's pictures of London in the early 50s. These extremely distinguished, sophisticated gentlemen. The cuts of the suits, the fabric of the suit, playing on the nuances of menswear and pushing the boundaries of what's considered traditional without being too traditional. So playing with pattern, scale, blowing up dog tooths, applying new techniques to the way they're executed. So bonding 16 gauge sweaters onto seven gauge sweaters, bonding sweaters onto outerwear. So it's more technical than I've ever done before. I like the fact that Simon keeps everything really tailored, very classic, beautiful men's shapes, but there's always a fashionable spin to them. Whether it's military inspired, biker inspired, British punk inspired, he makes clothes for men that look great on your body, but are also eye-catching, which is, you know, kind of something I really like. <laughs> There's a lot. I guess the most favorite is um, there's a gray top coat which has gray crocodile leather sleeves. Yeah, it's very chic. There's a double-breasted gray shearling jacket which is the epitome of cool. There's some big blue officer coats with military buttons with the double laminate stripe on the lapel, which is a carry-on from the, some of the suiting we've done. There's some technical ponchos, but it's super luxe. He's a great person, first of all, I and mean, he's an amazing guy and always been incredible. And I've had things where it's been last minute things, day of, I need a suit, he shows hey, up somehow. Up? And his clothes are incredible, you know, and they yeah, fit well. Really, and for really me, nice. personally, I being on stage and, and really running around quite a bit, or even just you. traveling, you want to know that you're going to have something that you're going to feel comfortable in and that fits right. I mean, I didn't even need much tailoring to this suit. It felt great when I put it on. I love the cut of his suits. He, he just knows how to make clothes for men. I mean, I, I love the way his suits fit me and look on me. I like something that's a little fitted and very classic, and so he's both of those things. So that's what I love about wearing Simon Spur.
I think what Simon is really brilliant at is making menswear feel exciting again. And I think for a long time, we didn't have the excitement in the men's industry. And then came Simon's Fur, who kind of gets the bespoke English thing, gets the rock star thing, gets the American classics thing, and does it for a real guy. He mixes it all up, all these great elements, and guys like clothes they're familiar with. And Simon makes every classic piece of clothing feel new and exciting and fresh. So whether it's a pea coat, when it's Simon Spurs design, it's a really cool pea coat. And if it's just a you know a simple pair of cords, somehow he does something that makes it feel exciting. And a piece of it is styling, but a bigger piece of it is cut and his fabrics and his idea of how modern men want to dress. And I think he gets it. I think as guys are embracing the suit, they don't want to embrace the suit that their father wore or their grandfather wore. So there has to be like a new language created. And sometimes it takes one to know one. So I think the way I approach menswear is hopefully in parallel to this new younger guy that's coming through. And he wants a little bit more. He wants more individualism. He wants to be noticed, but he doesn't want to be too flashy at the same time.